All right, now that we got Python installed, let's play around a little bit with the Python IDE. It's called IDLE, but this is an IDE. What's an IDE? It's short for Integrated Development Environment, and it is an app that allows you to write Python code very easily. Okay, so here it is. Now, when you click on the IDLE link or button or whatever in, in your launcher here, it uh, launches the Python 3.5.2 shell. You may have 3.6, you may have 4.2 shell. Shell is just like a little program that sends commands directly to the Python app. Now, Python is both a programming language and it's an app. The Python app processes, reads and processes the Python code that you write. Remember, when you are writing code, you are basically sending commands, instructions to the computer to tell it what to do. Now, that's why we had to install Python on our computer so that we could actually process the Python code that we are writing. So right in Python shell right here, we can send direct commands like we did before. We did a print and we printed hey and it just print hit enter and it comes back and says hey to us now these three arrows again they're called the prompt they just give you a spot they're just pointing to where you start typing code but this is very limited when you use python shell to type in your commands directly it's much better to have a python page or a python document where you write all your python code and then you process it. So let's do that now. So we're going to go to File, New File. And here it is. We've got our new file. And I'm just going to do the same thing. I'm going to just type in print. And we're going to type in hello, nerds. See, one day we work really hard. We will be nerds. Now, this is a separate document. See, it's untitled right here, right at the top. So let's save this file, save as. So I'm going to save it on the desktop just for the sake of simplicity. And we're going to type in hi.py. Why py? Because py right here, py is a Python file extension, just like .doc is the file extension for a Word document. .html is the file extension for a HTML page, a web page. Now, the extension is anything in a file name past the period. So I put hi, and then you got period, py. So py just tells the computer, in this case Windows, what kind of file this is. So I'm just going to hit save, and it will appear on our desktop somewhere. Where are you? Where are you, py? Oh, here we go. i got to get into view here. Let me just move this over, move this over. Here it is, hi.py. Now you notice it's got a little Python logo right here, a little snaky. That's because since we installed, well, it's two snakes, blue snake here and blue snake. Anyway, Windows knows that this is a Python document because it has .py. And Windows was configured to know this because we installed the Python app, the IDLE app. Where's MNNOP? Here it is, Python. Since we installed Python 3.5, Windows knows what, what a PY file is. That's all. So uh, now we can run this. There's two ways to run this. We can just go run and just click on this. Or we can press Alt F, excuse me, Function F5. So you press the Function key, you press F5 on your keyboard, and watch this window right here. This is where you're going to see the output. It should say, hello, nerds. So we're going to select this window, function F5. There we go, function F5. Hello, nerds, right? And even tells us, see, it says, restarting shell Python. And then it says, we're looking in C users. That's my directory, Stefan, desktop. And it's processing hi.py. There you go. Hello, nerds. So why would you want to do it in a separate file over here versus just typing in print hi here? Because when you want to write more complex commands, more complex code, it's 
trickier to do it right in shell and you can't save it whereas here we can save our code so if you want to create an app in python you're going to be writing it in a separate python file which is a py file py file so let's try something else so we're going to do many high nerds right save function and we're going to f5 it again f5 there it is not bad let's say we want to do some um some uh, math we can go print and we can go i don't know two plus two we'll see what happens i don't know what's going to happen here we'll see what happens run i'll just run it like this hey look at that it did the math for us can it do other math i think it can do other math so you can cut and paste save times so we can go two times 20 four no 22 save that run it again boom see two times 22 is 44 so as you can see here python allows us to do math not bad not bad so for the rest of our demos i think i'm just going to be doing this we're going to be using the ide built into python to create python files so we can save our work and we'll view our code running with the python shell open like this Pretty, pretty cool.